Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBX latest version that is 7.0 LDS version on Alma Linux OS 9. But the process is same on Alma Linux 8 also. First go to JBX official website by opening Firefox that is the default browser comes with Alma Linux. Go to jbix.com. See here JBX 7.0 LTS now available for download. It is the all-in-one open source solution that lets you monitor anything. Click on download. See here we have the JBX version 7.0 LTS supported OS distributions are these are the supported OS distributions. Click on Alma Linux then select the version. See here Alma Linux version supported are 9 and 8. Okay, Click on 9 then click on JBX components. See here we have the two types of supported database engines MySQL and PostgreSQL and web server Apache and Nginx. Okay, So we are going to use the MySQL. The prerequisite is MySQL and Apache. So we are going to install MySQL. Okay, Open new tab. Go to mysql.com and the important point is we cannot use MySQL later versions of MySQL.8.0.3. The making of this video, MySQL 8.4 not supported for JBX installation. Okay, so install MySQL server by running the command sudo enf. If you have already installed MySQL, if you have already installed MySQL, then no need to perform this step. Okay, so install MySQL server. See, it is going to install MySQL version 8.36. JBX supports this version. But if it is 8.4, it won't support. Okay, keep that in mind and type Y for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed MySQL. Now check the status of MySQL service sudo systemctl status mysql d is the service name see it is not started so let us start it sudo systemctl start mysql d hit enter now enable the mysql service now verify the status See, we have started MySQL service and service is enabled. Now connect to MySQL, control L, sudo MySQL, hit enter. Now set the, after connecting to, we have to set the password for root account. So use the command alter user root identified by provide the new password. So give alter user root at the rate localhost identified by provide the new password. Okay, we have successfully set the password. Okay, this is done. Next, quit. So prerequisite that database engine is installed. Q to quit. Now the other thing is we have to install the web server and PHP extensions that we can install by running the command sudo. I will keep these commands in the video description. Hit enter. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. It is going to install httpd and php extensions. It is done. Now we have to enable and start the php and httpd that is apache web server. So sudo system ctl enable httpd hit enter then start it it is done now enable php fpm then start it okay we have successfully done now verify the status of both the services It is started. Also verify the Apache service. 
it is also started and enabled okay so all prerequisite matched next if you have this file or even if you don't have create this file and copy this context okay copy it sudo control l sudo vi paste that file name it will create the file and i2 press i2 insert mode then copy this one paste it save the file hit enter next install jbix repository by running this command copy this one give the sudo and paste that command hit enter it is done i will keep this link in the video description okay so next clean all okay sudo dnf clean all it has removed the files next see next step is this is the command to install the jbix server front end and agent okay copy this one give the sudo paste it hit enter type five for confirmation and hit enter again why we have successfully installed jbix server front end and agent next step is we have to create initial database and create user and grant privileges to the user to jbix database okay so connect to mysql control a mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the password that we have received then run these commands one by one copy it paste it hit enter then create the user before that verify the databases whether the database is created or not. see jbix database is created now create user okay remember this is the password for this user okay but you can give the any other password also next grant privileges to user on database jbix now set the global variable to one okay it is typo you this set it is done now quit now we have to import the initial schema and data by running this jetcat command copy it paste it give the password see this is the password just password is the password or the password that you have given for the jbix user is done now connect to mysql and set this off okay it is done now we have to set the db password that is this is the password but if you have but if you have given other than this we have to provide the other okay so edit this file copy this jbix server.conf file sudo vi paste that file hit enter scroll down or search for db password db see here we have the hit enter see here we have remove the hash and shift a to insert then give the password as a, as i told you earlier give the password whatever you have set the password for this jbix user okay so save the file 
exclamation escape and exclaim save it now start the jbic server and agent process okay so restart after the changes we have to restart all paste it hit enter then provide the password i have given the sudo it is done now enable these services see the, the last two services are already enabled so copy up to here anyway copy all then use the sudo and paste it hit enter it is done okay next we have successfully installed jbix server now we are going to connect to jbix web console or web web page so copy this link then new tab paste it here in the host we have to give the host name of jbix server installed okay so host name is type host name see this is the host name or you can give the ip if config see we can give this ip as well or you can give the local host okay i'm giving the local host hit enter see this is the jbix console click on next step see all prerequisites are matched see here we have the status okay 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 then click on next step here select the database type mysql and give the host name database host name is localhost see here localhost or you can give the ip both are fine then give the database port port number for mysql is double three zero six port number for mysql is double three zero six database name is jbix that we have created username also we have created jbix then provide the password of jbix that is password and click on next don't save here provide the jbix server name jbix server name this is the jbix server name that is local first okay so give the local host or ip both both are fine and click on next see this is the theme we have these four types of themes you can select them and select the time zone okay then click on next step see this is the pre-installation summary then click on next step if you are okay with all the settings click on next step otherwise click on back and change the settings click on next step see congratulations we have successfully installed jbix front end click on finish now provide the username and password here username is caps admin then password is jbix if you give small a it will throw error okay so you have to give this one then click on and password is jbix all are in small case i will keep this username and password in the video description click on sign in don't save see this is the jbix dashboard if you want to see the users click on users then users see here we have the admin and this is the information it is the super user or super admin role if you want to change the password of this admin click on it then click on change password then you have to click on update okay so if you go to dashboards see here we have the tabs like dashboard monitoring services inventory reports data collection alerts and users and also see here jbix version is 7.0 and jbix front end 7.0.0 okay also see here jbix server is running and this is the local host and this is the port number okay. so in this video we have seen how to install and configure jbix 7.0 on arma linux os 9 as part of the installations, we have also installed MySQL 8.0.36 on Alma Linux OS. For more JPEGs videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.